Today, I'm turning the Bloxburg Starter House into a mansion. Yes, guys. I know what you're thinking. You've renovated the Starter House about 200 million times, Reese's. This is not a renovation. I'm literally going to be expanding the Starter House into a mansion. But as you guys know, I'm so bad at explaining things. So you're just going to have to watch and wait and see how it turns out. But first of all, we need to actually go and buy it. If I need any more plots, guys. I have about 100. But we'll buy a new one. I gotta have more. I gotta have more. The initial price is $7,000. You best believe we're going to be up in that to about 500 grand. And happy home of Robloxia. More like happy mansion of Bloxburgia. And here we are outside of it. So I'm sure everybody by now knows what the start house looks like inside. But just for those of you who don't, I'll do a quick little tour. Lickety split. As you walk in, as you can see, it is just basic. And it's very, very old school Bloxburg. Got our little kitchen over here. Our dining room, which I've never understood why they like cut half the dining table off. In the mansion, we're going to be expanding it to have a sunroom. It's going to be so big. Over here is the bathroom. And finally, the bedroom, which is not cute. This room is not an elite room. She is not an elite employee. But now we've done the tour, let's do this. First things first, I want to keep the vibe of the start house. That's the whole point of this video. We're going to put this tree and these plants to one side. But everything else, like the path and that, get out of it. Even my avatar, get out of here. Second of all, we're going to delete the roof because a mansion has to be two stories high, right? What I think we should do is this goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight along. So we're going to make it go eight along on this side too. And then on this side, it goes four and then two. So we're going to make it even. We might as well use one. What the start house already has to offer. We'll do it a little something like this. Of course, I'm not going to leave these walls so flat. I'm not a noob. We're going to add these little nuggets on the front. Right now, I have no idea how this is going to look. So we're going to have to stack it up. Alrighty. I think this is going to look quite nice, actually. If you're wondering, yes, I am keeping the default color scheme. However, aesthetic version. Rather than these musty, dusty, I don't even know the name of them. That's how relevant they are. We're going to switch to vertical planks and make it a nice aesthetic aesthetic wheat color. And of course, these green bricks, I'll just turn to normal bricks instead. But I'm hoping with windows and stuff, we can really, really fix this. But before any of that, let's not jump ahead. We need to put the roof in. And this is where it's probably going to be the most important part of this whole build. And you know what? Scratch that whole idea. I'm wondering what would happen if we just place the roof all in one. It could be a sleigh. It kind of is, you know. We are going to have to add some nugget roofs, as I call them, up here. And now, if you cast your mind back to about uh, two minutes ago, the original was a nice pine cone wood. I have no objection, and I accidentally selected this wood, but it, it actually looks really nice, so I think we're going to use it. Next up, it's time for the windows, and this is where it's going to be getting so much more expensive than the OG house. If you remember, the OG house had windows like this. $60 broke house. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but we're here to improve it, not shade it. And also, I quite like the white windows, but they actually had brown outline on theirs. Do you think we should do the same? I mean, if we're trying to keep the vibe, I guess so. I'll outline it with these, which are handily already the right colour. Oh, yeah, 1,400. That sounds a little more like it. I feel like we don't really need much of a pattern with where we put these. They're big windows. We don't need to put too many. Already, this is just screaming like I'm a millionaire. I'm Kim Kardashian West. I'm a mother, millionaire, and billionaire. And I'm so glad I thought this video because it's just so unique. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do this. And if they have, I haven't seen it. I am going to slightly change these windows, but it was nothing much. As you can see, I just wanted a little bit of flavor on the sides. Now, something the original start house is missing is wall trims on the exterior. Fun fact, that's actually because Bloxburg wall trims were not in the game when the, start, <laughs> when the start house was actually made. Next of all, we are going to be adding some of our own flourishes to the start house for for example, these gigantic pillars. And we'll just add some normal ones. But don't be a rookie, guys. Don't put them stacked on each other like that. Actually go in and resize it. And look at how easy this is. No waiting around for it to stack. You literally just click and click and click. It's so much better. <laughs> Next up, these roofs are looking a little bit like arrows, which I'm not really loving. We are going to place in these beams. They don't have to look perfect, but they have to look almost perfect. And if you thought I forgot about the nuggets, don't worry, I didn't. Why is the theme of my channel like chicken? Like, you guys are my little chicken. Small things are nuggets. 
minutes. Ta -da! Also, complete side note, has anybody else's Roblox changed? Like mine has this up here for the chat now and then this, and then my name is all different over here. I mean, I love it, but I just wanna know if it's happened to anyone else. So next up, we've gotta put the iconic pathway that the start house has. They actually use the path section, but nobody in real life uses that. So we're not going to either. We don't need to have that much of a crazy floor. And if you're wondering why I do the corners separately, if you don't, it goes metal, metal, chicken oriental. Also, I don't think the start house actually has any fences IRL so why don't we add these these are quite nice and oh I, I almost just covered this up we've got to remember to use those plants as well almost forgot not gonna lie normally I put trees just behind the fences so today we'll have the starter trees honestly I'm not even gonna add anything else because this is simply what it would look like but now is the fun part we get to go in normally in my renovations I don't change anything about the inside but this ain't no renovation so I can change whatever the hell I, I still want the kitchen to be on this side but obviously the bedroom is gonna be upstairs that that means that we can get rid of pretty much everything on this side. I don't want to change anything about the original shell, so I'm not going to go changing these walls. Of course, the start house used to end here. We've got this massive extension now. This is going to be like the living room. In this room, we should actually put the staircase. Anyway, my plan is really to have like the top of this open plan, if that makes sense. As you can see, we've then got like a little balcony, which I think is going to look so sick. But we'll start off downstairs, and I want to do this properly. So I'm on Google now. I don't know what day it is today. What? Lantern Fest. Woohoo! Green and white kitchen. Oh, baby! Look at this one. And I also like this one, how they sort of have it built in. I'm gonna try and do a custom island today. Once again, most of this can go, and I, I just think we should do a nice wood. And I don't normally use cloudy gray, but why is it kind of nice? It's, it's different, it's unusual, unusual. It's nice. All the walls are going to be, well, we've got to make them kind of like this. Maybe we could have this wall as white, and then this one here as like a yellow feature wall. I wanna do that cool door system they have. So in order to do this, we're gonna go and get a tall door frame. If there's gaps in the middle, then just put thin pillars in there. Then we're going to grab a clear basic shape and actually put that right inside of this so we can get the sizing perfect. And then much like we did with the windows, just outline them. And you've probably just seen me struggle for about 20 minutes trying to do that. So maybe make it a neon color so you can actually see what you're doing. And since this is completely custom, we do have to add the glass lines in the middle too. Then finally, you twist these doors to be at an angle and then you stick them all into their little frames so it looks like they're just open. That is a way to spend loads of time doing something that looks okay. Okay, love you guys. So I did promise that we'd do the kitchen next and that island. So sorry, I've skipped that, but we're doing it now. We are going to be upgrading this to a bit more of modern appliance central over here, people. Bloxburg default house used to have these little lines. Do you remember? I actually just deleted it, but there was one here as you walk in. So we're gonna take a leaf out of that book and have some of these half walls in here. Then we're gonna make everything smooth plastic apart from the top, which will be marble. We'll make it like, it looks like it's this really rich green. Also the start house had this rubbish oven. Nobody wants you. We want this bad boy. <laughs> no. Kitchen is also going to stretch over to this wall. You thought it was over? No. And furthermore, this wall is actually going to be where the fridge is and the microwave, or the microwave, as that random woman calls it. That, which I've warmed in the microwave. And it feels really weird building green, but it's, it's actually a really nice colour. Now it's time for the island I've been promising for this whole time. So it's going to be a triple island system. How I think we're going to get those cool pans in there is by using this console table which is handily slots right underneath now, bada bing bada boom we've got a custom little island bit and the best part about this is that we can still have like a couple of stools oh that looks sickeningly good <laughs> i'm slaying the house down on this kitchen and then as i said it's filled with pots pans jars although it is slightly limited because some things poke through the top but others don't so it works out quite well just to make this counter system even better the elite viewers of this channel who watch all the time will know what i'm about to add it is a custom sink. Now, even if you don't watch all the time, you're still elite to me. Then I went and added all the irrelevant appliances that no one cares about seeing. And I may or may not have made the island in the middle slightly uneven, but I added this carpet and doesn't it kind of look more even now? And also I added this marble tile decal behind here. And then I just wanted to finish it off with some LEDs. How gorgeous. And also I realized I didn't even change the front door. Like what an actual noob am I? Yes, the original one did look actually kind of nice, but just not big enough. So what better than the traditional front door to add? It's not too crazy. It's not too in your face. Next, I'm gonna use these bookcases as my inspiration. 
question. <laughs> you guys really thought I was going to use them. What I'm going to do is add kind of a fake wall here. And then we're going to just add shelves. Where it becomes inspired is we're going to color the shelves. That, that nice brown color they had on there. And then I'm basically going to add the same things. Like books, etc, etc, etc. Ta-da! That is now done. And another reason I'm excited for this video is to see at the end how much more expensive this is than that default mansion. Because that costs 200 grand. So if this is around like 300, 400, 500. I honestly wish they'd add it to Bloxburg. This is our info for the default table, but of course we're not going to use that because it's the most ugly thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so instead, we're going to use the hairpin table and we'll make it quite long. We're literally going to colour it the exact colour that this one was. We're going to use the exact fruit bowl they had. So once again, another relic. And now, be gone! I would ideally love to add these as the chairs, but a lot of you guys actually hate when I do that. So in order to keep everyone happy, I'm going to add these, which are a little bit kind of like in the middle. But also, I do agree, these look better here, especially like in between the gaps. And then why not add some of the new plants? I love them. And by the way, guys, if my Bloxburg seems extra smooth today, I actually got a new Wi-Fi kind of recently. It's been making Bloxburg so good. Like I haven't disconnected once. <laughs> We will then add three little lights hanging over the top of this. I absolutely love this. I'm not going to show too much before the tour, but blimey, it's amazing. Next up is the hallway, and I'm going to do this in like sonic speed. The floor is checkered marbles with some more walls, which are separated with glass. We'll once again have a yellow feature wall, and I would normally add seating here, but since there's going to be so much seating in this room, I think I'm just going to add a dresser. And what better than a Queen Vicky dresser, Victorian? Just because we've had a modern kitchen doesn't mean we can't switch up a little bit bit in here. And then I finished it off with a hat stand and umbrellas, etc. Voila! Simple but effective. Last but not least down here we have the lounge room, but I actually feel like going upstairs and do a little bit of the hallway. Alrighty, so I don't know whether to be like really fancy and use this or whether to use the glass modern one or even a little even a little bit of both. Now I'm thinking about it, it could work. The floor up here anyway is going to be pine cone wooden plank. But yes, I actually really, really love this kind of like clash of two worlds. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We very clearly do not have enough room up here to have like a bedroom in this bit. It'd be like one block wide. Unless you're slender man, you ain't fitting in one block. The other issue with all of the starter houses, even the starter mansion, is they all only have one bedroom. What if you want to have a guest over? I know it's a starter house, but friends are essential for life, guys. Oh. So we're actually going to grab a wall and put that here. We're going to add ourselves just a small bedroom, but it will have an ensuite bathroom. And then this one can also have an ensuite sweet but it's like a much bigger bedroom if that makes sense i'm only gonna upgrade them slightly to the traditional doors up here in fairness i do think we could use some wall trim we are obviously in a modern kind of house so we'll add like a modern ish chair here with maybe like a plant and a pillow and then i'm trying to get into like the mind of coeptus even though it's not coeps anymore is it didn't we de didn't blocksburg get taken over but i'm trying to get into the mind of whoever built the original starter houses the starter mansion as you know the hallway is literally bare as anything so i'm trying to think what would they have a Along this hallway probably a sofa and then if we go into pillars they would probably if they made it today resize these pillars into little podiums and i think it's called statue it wasn't but this thing i feel like they'd have a bunch of these just plotted around it just sort of like flex and they like to make it symmetrical and even and i do as well to be honest so we'll do that finally i feel like one of the selling points of this house and this hallway is going to be the 12 thousand dollar chandelier and then because it's still not quite bright enough up here we'll add some saucer lights voila how amazing is this view oh my gosh i like the view now once again we're gonna make it symmetrical so we might as well have those glass doors here so we need to kind of use like this white and yellow kind of style that they had before and then i feel like we could actually incorporate the round carpet if we make it massive could actually kind of like pop this underneath the staircase and then maybe even add like a nice bench which is yellow and white. That's sort of the homage to that old chair. So it bewilders me how Bloxburg doesn't have this in any of the start houses. But again, I just don't think it was in the game yet. So we are going to add it into this one and we're doing a full blown unit. Now, I just want to talk about how revolutionary it would be if Bloxburg added more default houses. It would probably be the biggest update the game has ever seen. No, but seriously, it would basically become a little bit more like Brookhaven where they have all those amazing houses you can get. Hopefully, someday the wonderful developers will add some new start houses. It looks a little bit big. Like she chunky, but I like 
I'm joking. Now we need to add in the modern chairs. So I think I might actually custom make a sofa with these sectional ones. And then we'll have one of them in the middle as well. And then on the other side, you guys know I like to switch up a little bit. I'm going to do white and green once again. I've not forgotten you, default house. And then the main sofas are also going to be that iconic yellow color. And there's no table right now in Blocks Bags that I think will fit this build. So I'm going to make my custom spherical one, which if you didn't know, you use a sphere and you smash it down like a hammer. And the rest is pretty self-explanatory. It's just, you then move it together. And you guys have been asking me to do like that Insta girl aesthetic, you know, where they have like cool, well, that's a big vase. But you know where they have like vases and like potted plants on the coffee table. And honestly, that actually does look really nice. Good idea, guys. This room really, yes, it should be fully lit up. Of course, we need some more lights. And notice how I've not done my typical Reese's move where I put lights under the floor. That's because they probably wouldn't do that in the real life house. Then they'd be giving you basement up game pass. Oh my gosh, the whole downstairs is done. It looks amazing. I can't wait to show you in the tour in a moment. But all we have left is two bedrooms. This has gone so quick, guys. First of all, we'll move the windows around so it looks pretty nice. We'll start off with the tiny bedroom and then this tiny bathroom. The guest bedroom, they're gonna put like a simple bed in here. And then maybe if we move the door up, we can actually fit a bedside table too. And I think if Bloxburg ever made the start house into a mansion or made new ones, they try to incorporate as many new items as they sort of can. They'd get rid of the old pillow. And this is kind of giving the vibe that it's a kid's room. So we're gonna use the rocket ship lamp. Oh, I forgot how nice that actually looks. Next up, we should probably add wardrobes. Now we'll do a full on closet in the master bedroom. But in here, what should we have? Like maybe a toy cubby and then just a flat wardrobe really. So we'll add maybe a platypus on top of the wardrobe. And I don't know how old this child is um, or why they still have like counting blocks. But anyway, they would not clutter this up. So we're just going to add a couple of these saucer lights. Both these bathrooms are going to be exactly the same pretty much. So I'll show you me doing one. We'll leave this the default color, but we will change it to a nicer texture. And then I think the barrel bathtub maybe with a shower just over the top of it. Because the start house has kind of got to have everything. Who remembers this shelving unit we did down here? We're going to do a similar thing in this bathroom. I think I have an idea though. If we move this to Delete the bottom one and then shorten this. Do you guys see where I'm going here? And we can put the toilet in there. Oh, actually, maybe we should do the sink. You might smash your head up if it's the toilet. And do you guys want to know what song has randomly been really stuck in my head lately? I don't know where it's from, but it was like, we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship, soaring through the sky. That song. So if any of you know, then please comment down below. And if you don't know, then I probably just sound insane. That is a really cute bathroom. So I copy and pasted it over into the other one. That looks so cool. The last thing we have to do, guys, is the master bedroom and oh my gosh i did not know this was sticking through in here is basically going to be a similar thing although you are going to get a much bigger bed of course anyway in this corner here i'm going to go all the way over to the lounge and we're going to grab the oh where am i <laughs> we're going to grab these and we're going to have a seating area and then i definitely did this when i renovated the starter mansion i made like a really cool closet wall as you walk in and now i'm going to make the clothes green and white once again just to sort of pay tribute to the og start house now we will have some on this side but I don't want to block the windows and also I wanted to have a vanity in the middle and with that guys the starter mansion has been built so let's go look at the differences so this was the original starter house and this is it now if we do a spin around as you can see the difference is just crazy it's gone from being literally like a tenth of the size of this to being a mansion let's see how much it's increased in value the original starter house is worth about 7500 now it's worth 262 grand now this excites me. This makes me want to throw a party because the starter mansion costs 200 grand and I'm not gonna lie It's pretty lame. I'm sure most people would be happy to pay about 250 grand Maybe 300 grand to get this house as their starter house not trying to toot my own horn But I think it's good, but I know what you guys want you want to go inside So let's open up when you walked in the original starter house It was pretty basic and honestly this entryway is unrecognizable And we probably won't even be able to do too many comparisons because we've done so much extending the entryway basically just just has some umbrellas and this Victorian table. I kept it simple. If we go through here, we have the kitchen. So the kitchen before, we all knew it was kind of lame. And now it is not only this, but we also have this extension over here. So my favorite part by far is this custom built in island. I need to start doing this more often. I absolutely love it. Then over here, we have like sort of our rogue appliances like jam maker, meatball maker, and fridges and stuff. Then over here, we have this really nice custom bookshelf, which was 
was based off the original one. And then we obviously have our master dining table. You can sit at either end. Then as we go through, this is where it gets insane. The old living room versus the new living room. Can It is just unbelievably different. Making this two stories, making this whole thing two stories was just the best idea ever. Of course, this is like the main living room with space for up to eight people. We once again have these doors, a TV and a bunch of books. Finally, in here, we have the piano where I can flex that I can play Claire de Lune. Yes, people! If we go upstairs, that is a first, first starter house anyway. So you get such a gorgeous view of the lounge room, but also this gorgeous hallway and it even goes over here to the doors as well. In here is the first bedroom. This is sort of the kid's bedroom and there's nothing to compare this to because once again, we didn't have a bedroom upstairs before. And then in here is the bathroom. I love what I did here with like this built-in shelf. Finally, the master bedroom. Although we start in the master closet, which is two-sided, of course. Yes, I love this. And I feel like everyone else would love this too. Not only do you get a beautiful view over your house and how beautiful does it look from the outside, but it's just like such a nice big closet too. And then as you go through, we have the main bedroom. A little bit more simpler, but it is paired with its very own ensuite bathroom where we can finish the video in this gorgeous shower, in our gorgeous bathroom, in our gorgeous start and mansion. I do hope all of you guys enjoyed watching this video it was something a little bit different do subscribe to join the Reese's Cup community thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye guys